Hi guys, Brown here, welcome back to the channel Here today for a bit of a different video So if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe and like We're gonna be predicting what I think is gonna happen in the 2020 Formula 1 season So what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna do my top 20 for the drivers Top 10 for the constructors and then something that I haven't seen anyone do is I'm going to try and predict who's going to win every Grand Prix which I think that could be when we come back to this video in November after the season's finished I feel like that could be very funny to start we're going to be doing the driver stand in the 20th place I've got Nicholas Latifi nothing against Latifi to be honest I haven't really ever seen him race but I feel like he'll get beaten by George Russell. I feel like he'll push George Russell, but George Russell will come out on top. So, Nicholas Latifi, P20, P19. Then I've got George Russell. I think there's going to be another kind of steady season for Williams, kind of down at the back. I hope they start to progress because it's bad seeing a team of their kind of calibre and history just being just making up the numbers basically p18 i've got roman grosjean i feel like he is massively overstaying at f1 i feel like if he was racing for any other team he would have been dropped a long while ago i don't think he's good enough for haas i don't think he's good enough for the sport full stop but i just feel like grosjean isn't consistent also magnuson isn't consistent and if Haas really think that they're going to be challenging for the top 5 P17 Lance Stroll I kind of, I know people say oh, um, he's just a rich boy and to be honest I am kind of one of those people but I just don't I don't think he's good enough obviously he's always going to have that seat now with his <laughs> dad owning the team so P16 kind of already mentioned this but Kevin Magnussen I'll kind of leave it at that he I feel like he'll pick up some points but not many I feel like the Haas the Haas car will have potential but those drivers Grosjean and Magnussen aren't good enough to put the car where it should be P15 I've got Giovinazzi I feel like he'll just build on what he did last season I feel like towards the end of last season he was very very strong started to outperform um, Raikkonen but I just feel like Raikkonen with his experience and all of that just kind of tops Giovinazzi we'll see how he starts the season I don't think Giovinazzi will beat Raikkonen I just kind of think he'll start to build P14 then I have Daniel Kvyat I feel like it's a weird one I think Alpha Tori I hope we kind of see more of what we saw last season with Toro Rosso seeing them on the podium was great can they continue to do that maybe not but if we have hectic races like we did in Germany and Brazil then why not but I, I think Gasly will ultimately get the best of Kvyat I feel like Ga I feel like Gasly when he got demoted back down to Toro Rosso he looks a lot more comfortable than Kvyat. P13 I've got Kimi Raikkonen now I've been watching a lot of people's predictions and people have put Raikkonen right down at the back because they think he's going to drop off I think he's what 41 at some point this year but you can't kind of play down the experience Raikkonen has P12 I've got Pierre Gasly I think he'll just beat Kvyat like I mentioned earlier and but I just don't think Alpha Tori, I feel like they can't be good, but they just, I don't think they'll make that extra step to get themselves into into the battles of the Renaults and the McLarens. P11, I've got Daniel Ricciardo, and I might have to talk about P10 at this point. I've got Esteban Ocon, I think. This one was so close with me, because I think I like Ricardo, I like Ocon, but I feel like Ricardo is a good quick driver, obviously he's a proven race winner when he was at Red Bull, but I just think that possibly Ocon 
he's going to push him and Ricardo may not be able to raise his game and I think that will ultimately kind of be his downfall I think P9 I've got Lando Norris P8 I have Sergio Perez and I know that kind of seems a bit odd after putting that draw so low but I feel like Perez is the most underrated driver on the grid I really rate Perez I think he's very 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 good and I think with the car if it's quick he can ultimately deliver that strong I don't think he can ultimately then best of the rest in P7 I've gone with Carlos Sainz because I think he's very good obviously got, he got that podium that no one got to see in Brazil I, I think he'll beat Lando and I think he'll just continue to do what he did last season and be consistent and ultimately that will define his season here's probably where I'm going to it upset a lot of people with this top six in P6 I have Sebastian Vettel the reason I got Sebastian Vettel there not higher up like some people is I think like last season he's just going to continue to plummet I think I think everyone thought the win in Singapore that that was it Vettel was back he kind of had points of that in Russia when he was leading and then ultimately that engine problem cost him and now he's just back down Vettel's days of Ferrari bending over backwards to give him the best strategy have long long gone P5 I've got Valtteri Bottas kind of similar to the Ferrari situation I don't think Bottas is good enough or last season kind of was the final nail in the coffin for me I feel like he shouldn't even be a Mercedes driver now I think Mercedes should have dropped him for this season and brought in someone else Bottas I know Bottas 2.0 but what did he do last season he won Australia he disappeared in Bahrain he was all right in China he won and then he won in Baku and then what did he do until he won again in Japan he went missing and that's the thing with Bottas he's too he's too valuable to Mercedes to have races like that he needs to be up there not pushing Hamilton because he's never going to push Hamilton mm. but he needs to be there if Hamilton's winning he needs to be second behind him not fourth fifth sixth possibly even seventh before I've gone with Alex Albon I think he'll just be building this season I think he finished um, 2019 very strong and he'll just continue I think he'll push Max but not to the level that he probably should I think he'll pick up the off podium I don't think he'll win a race P3 this is where I think it takes the I've got Max Verstappen I think the Red Bull car is going to be quick but can it go that extra step for him to be world champion I don't think it can and I don't think Max can this isn't me being biased because I am a Hamilton fan but Charles Leclerc will be runner up this season in P2 and Lewis Hamilton will get his 7th world title equaling Michael Schumacher I know lots of people have got Hamilton second and ultimately I think they're talking absolute rubbish I don't care how quick Verstappen and Leclerc is they're not at the level of Hamilton yes they're a proven race winner but have they won titles no probably that's too harsh have because they haven't really had the chance he's a six time world champion you can't bet against him that's my predictions for the drivers let's go on to the constructors then so no surprise P10 I have Williams I think they'll just continue to do what they did last season maybe they can correct some things but is it likely maybe not P9 I've got Haas because I, I don't think they're going to be where they think they're going to be and like I was saying earlier with the drivers I feel like the car's going to be quicker than the drivers can put it so that's my opinion P8 I've got Alfa Romeo I think that's kind of the highest they'll be I don't think they can go to that next step I think they are ultimately Ferrari's B team P7 I've gone with racing point ultimately because I've put Lance Stroll so low I don't think he'll pick up points and Paris is ultimately going to absolutely slaughter him 
and he's going to have to drag that car up to get points. So I think it's out of place for race points there. P6, I've got Alpha Tori because I think that's kind of. I think I'll just continue to do what I did last season. And P5, I have Renault because I, I don't think they can make that step to McLaren. Who I've got in P4. So McLaren P4, like I said earlier, I feel like McLaren are going to be in that kind of situation where kind of Force India were in 2017. So I think they'll be been too quick for the midfield but not quick enough for the top three and they'll just be in that kind of no man's land for most of this season now into the top three where things get interesting i have got ferrari though i had charles Leclerc higher than max i honestly think the ferrari isn't going to be that quick i feel like they're going to be like they were last season and possibly they've got a new phil philosophy but i think ultimately they're going to be quick at the tracks with long straights, the twistier tracks, they can struggle. It's so in P2 then, I have Red Bull, that means Mercedes will have a 7th consecutive constructors title, which I think is the record. I think Red Bull's car is going to be quick, Albon's consistency, and especially for Stafford's consistency, is going to push him above Ferrari. I don't think Ferrari is going to be consistent, I think Charles Leclerc will be but Vettel won't and ultimately that will push them down behind Red Bull sorry and then the Constructors Champions Mercedes I think that's a bit of a no brainer although Bottas I don't think Bottas will be consistent but I still think he'll still pick up podiums and possibly get the odd win and ultimately that will kind of determine what he can do and that ultimately will push Mercedes to be Constructors Champions So that's kind of my predictions for the championships now Let's get on to the interesting bit because this This could be very funny in a couple of months when the season ends So this is my race predictions Just as a kind of pre-warning I haven't predicted the Chinese Grand Prix At this point in time, the time recording this Obviously it's been postponed due to the coronavirus and I don't know at the minute no one knows whether it is actually going to go ahead they've just postponed it australia i've got hamilton hands down he will win australia and i think that will kind of set up the season for mercedes and hamilton will be victorious in australia in bahrain i think charles leclerc will win it i think leclerc has some has to right his wrongs and Ferrari have to right their wrongs from Bahrain in 2019 with the engine problem and I think if Ferrari's car is like it was in a straight line I think they'll dominate Bahrain Mercedes will be close and I think Leclerc will ultimately go on to win that race Vietnam then obviously we haven't seen this track so this is going to be absolutely blind I think looking at the track there's a lot of long straights, so I think Charles Leclerc will win it again and he will win two of the first three races in Vietnam. Then of course it would be China. So into Holland, I don't see why Verstappen can't win his home Grand Prix. I think the track will kind of suit Red Bull's car, but ultimately I think just like a bit like Austria, I just think crowd will ultimately just boost him up and pump him up. And basically that will kind of lead him to win. Winner of the Spanish Grand Prix, I've got Hamilton. I think Mercedes will just do what they always do in Spain. Monaco obviously kind of qualifying determines the race result. So I think Hamilton will have a strong qualifying. And then he'll go on to win the race. Baku, where I think Leclerc, think back to qualifying, how quick he was in qualifying until he binned it in the wall. I think if he doesn't make the, that same mistake in qualifying, I ultimately do think he'll win the race. I think the Ferrari, the pace he had in that race, I think he could win it if he got a good qualifying and actually didn't bin it in the wall. Um, Canada, I've got Hamilton because tonight I just think he will do what he does best. Possibly it could be a Ferrari track, but I think that ultimately Mercedes come out on top in that one, so I think. 
Hamilton will win Canada into France. Hamilton will win again. It's the Mercedes track will dominate it like it did last season. And that's kind of last thoughts on that. Austria, Verstappen will win it. Silverstone, the British Grand Prix. I've got Hamilton to win it because I'll probably go to the British Grand Prix and I just want to see him win, be there. I've seen him win loads of times, but every year is different. So I think he will win it and I think that'll be his seventh British Grand Prix win. Hungary, I think Verstappen will be gunning. I think that obviously Red Bull kind of got caught napping by Mercedes and that ultimately led Hamilton to winning the race. Then we got the summer break and this maybe could be a slight controversial one but for the Belgium Grand Prix win I've gone with Vettel I think although I've said he's going to drop off I think he still will win a race and I think the Belgium Grand Prix could well be that race. Italy Mercedes will win it I think I don't I, I just this my feeling is that Ferrari physically in my opinion can't win the Italian Grand Prix two years on a bounce two years on the bounce I feel like they'll find a way to massively bottle it and that will just hand it to Mercedes and Hamilton Singapore I've got Hamilton it's just a bit of a Mercedes track Russia I've got Bottas I know that that's probably a bit of another one I know I said that he'll probably drop off but I think Russia's kind of that track for Bottas where he does nothing but then Russia somehow kind of he turns it up and then he this Bottas 3.0 whatever you want to call it will probably come out and he'll dominate the weekend Japan I've gone with Vettel I, I could very easily have gone with Bottas to win back to back but I'll, I just think Vettel kind of has this race in him and I think he can very easily win Japan so that's two wins for him American Grand Prix have gone with Hamilton and ultimately that will set up Mexico getting another win and I think he'll just do what he does best in America and win it Mexico I think Hamilton will win it and that ultimately will be his crowning race in Mexico for his seventh title I think it would be amazing to see him win it in style I'd love to see him win it win the title by winning the Grand Prix that would just be amazing then we go to Brazil obviously Verstappen dominated Brazil and I think he'll do exactly the same thing again and then the final race of the season I've got Hamilton to round out 2020 and these current regulations will go out with a bang in Abu Dhabi and win again so if you add them all up I've got them here so Hamilton will win 11 races Leclerc will win three, Verstappen will win four, Vettel will win two, and Bottas will win one. So if you do the maths, so that means Mercedes will win 12 out of the 21 races currently. Because of course we don't know about China. Ferrari will win five and then Red Bull will win four. I think that's kind of balanced, I think that's fair. So with that in mind, hopefully you're still here. I mean long-ish video god knows how long it is once i cut this all down i hope these are right i mean how long can they be i think the championship i'm not really too kind of first depending on how well i do with that i just think when we get to abu dhabi after abu dhabi and i look back especially at the race predictions i think that could be very very funny let's say now with knowing the predictions let's say japan with let's say let's say me saying vettel gonna win it and then vettel gets wiped out of the first corner of japan i mean i'll probably forget but definitely the first couple of rounds i'll be thinking oh god i said leclerc was gonna win this or hamilton was gonna win this but i think i'll probably forget that i even did this and then in november when the season's finished we'll come back to this and we'll have <laughs> a laugh until then though not until november i will be back between now and november but until the next video make sure to like and subscribe i'll be back with some more i want to do some more real life f1 content so i'll be back with that maybe do some top tens make sure to hit the like button but let's see if these are right i've probably annoyed a lot of people with these but let's see if these 2020 predictions are right until the next video for you guys goodbye